<laughs> All right, boys, where are we going? To the fire station. <gasps> the fire station. What do you think we're gonna do there? Um. Yeah. What are you gonna see? What do you think we'll see? Fire station. Do you think we'll get to go in the fire trucks? Yeah. No. Jaden's yes. never seen what the inside of a fire truck looks like. I think we are. I haven't in a long time. But I've recently seen the inside of an ambulance <laughs> with Cadence. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're kind of chilling in the car. We have a few minutes. Uh, and I did see a couple more people show up. I almost yeah. wonder if they're going to start going in. But Mom. yeah, it's going to be super Mom, exciting. Me well, too. Well, yeah. No. Well, yeah. When I was a baby. Yeah, that's true. I did have an ambulance ride when you were in my belly. And I, also, also, I saw everyone in the ambulance. No, you didn't because you were in my stomach. <laughs> you goofball. Um... But yeah, like last month I signed up for this homeschool co-op of doing this tour at the fire department. And it just so happened that Lukey would be here too and he loves fire trucks. So we're super excited that we get to have like a mommy son date. I almost said mommy daughter, but that doesn't <laughs> that's not what this is. So yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go check it out. You guys can go oh, up in there and look at all of our equipment and our bags, and you guys can go on out the back. You guys can check the whole thing out. Cool, dude. Oh, man. Super exciting. So exciting. I've been in these more times than I'd like to say. <laughs> right, come on, cool in here, huh? Come on, bud. Come on. Buddy, you see all the cabinets and stuff? Let's go. They have all their stuff in there that they need. Actually, a good story about fire dogs. A Dalmatian. Yep. So, Dalmatian. So, back in the day, a long, long time ago, even here next door to this station, they used to use horses to pull like, I have their water supply. I so, they used to use horses. So, back when there was horses uh, pulling all the water, there used to be a lot of people that are called horse thieves. They would undo the horses and try and steal them, right? So, to be able to help with that, uh, Dalmatians are actually very protective Dalmatians. and very loud. So they would have Dalmatians that would uh, notify the firemen of any horse thieves that might be around. So they would have, they were good companions to the horses, and they would have these Dalmatians actually around them so that they, they could, they could uh, notify them that the horse thieves were around. And the Dalmatians would run alongside the horses on the way to the fire and help motivate them to go fast. Oh, wow. Fly. But they're blocks, and so we can build a big platform in case we need to keep something from falling. You get it? We're here to learn about them. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Good job. Guy. You try, buddy? Woo. You try lifting, too? You want to try? Right. Show me how strong you are. Then whoever's driving the truck, whoever's our engineer, they're going to use this control panel to send water out whichever hose we need. When you get in here, you can see some of our equipment, some of our tools. I want you guys, if you want to sit in the seat, you can. Our air packs that we wear inside of a fire are in our seats. So we can put them on while we're going down the road. So once we get to the fire, when we get out of our seat, just like a car seat, right? We put the shoulder straps on, when you get out of your, when we get out of our car seats, our air packs will already be on our backs. So you guys can all check that. Go ahead, cool. and then go on out the other side. Oh, dude, you get to go in there. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. There you go. Wow, dude. Look at those seats, buddy. So they can put those on while they're driving. Wait on the other side, I'll be right over there. Isn't that cool? We hook an airline up to it, and it blows up like a balloon, and we can lift entire cars up off the ground. Remember we said firefighters get called for everything? Yeah. Right? So we have a toolbox just like you might have in your garage or in your barn. We have hammers and wrenches and pliers and tin snips. We have drills. Go closer so you can see. Because firefighters aren't really good builders, but we're good at destroying stuff. This camera picks up temperature. So even if it's completely dark or it's completely smoky, 
It picks up the difference in temperature. You guys want, we can use that to find firefighters. We can use that to find somebody that was lost in the smoke or the That's dark. That's cool, right? That's how we they find people in the dark. We can also use it to find fire. It's got a thermometer in there, so it'll tell you the temperature of the room or whatever we're looking at. So if we go into a room and we don't know where the fire's at because it's full of smoke, can we can a lot that. of times, we can use that and yeah. we can see right where wow, the fire's that's at. pretty cool. You guys listen, they're gonna send it, they're sending one of the other trucks out. How many of you guys are here? Five five, come on. Can I ask for that? Yeah, dude. What did you get, man? You got a packet with the fire dog and stuff on there? That's cool, dude. Our kitchen, our living room, our bedroom, everything's upstairs. But if we get a call, we have to slide the pool and get down here and get on our truck. We have to get all of our gear on. So, you guys ready? Fire call! What did he say about the fire in your room? He yeah. says that it's good to sleep with the door closed so it will help keep the fire out as long as possible so they can get to you and save you. But how will it get So it to keeps me? like the fire and the smoke out longer. How, how will they get me then? Well, they could climb through, well, they could come through the house with their suits on and open your door, or they could come through like the window to come save you. But man, was that cool or what? Yeah.